Hello and welcome everyone to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing this afternoon? Thank you very much for joining. Right off the bat, if you guys can be so kind as to please hit the like button and subscribe. And while you are doing that, I am just making sure everything is set up. So we are good for the next hour. It looks like we are all set. Awesome. Laptops coming in smoothly. Computers all set up. We are good. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate Ken Schrader's 2003 Pocono flip. I believe it was only lap seven. It was that soon into the race. He loses control, going into turn one, backs the car into the wall really hard, flips over, and rides on the wall for a little bit, as you will see in a second. By the way, I'm testing out some new settings. I'm trying 1080p, I turned the bitrate and the buffer size up a little bit in OBS. Let me know if you guys are having any problems. Just trying to get the quality a little bit better. A little less pixelation and grain with each stream. Alright, so here's the wreck we are okay. going for today. Climbed out of his car unhurt, and I tell you that first, because when you see the video, you'll wonder how. Into turn one, I believe. Gets around right there, going down into turn one could be a. Yep. Oh my goodness! He backs That's it into the wall. Internet cornered almost two Turns miles over. Around. That had to be quite in one of the weirder right ways right I've there. seen a car flip after hitting the wall. Gotta believe something's happened. Yeah, I might here. need to turn the wall grip up. My turn goodness. the. Uh, Does that not tell you how fast you're going? The track grip up a little bit. Yeah, I think right now, Chris, when you watch and see this accident, you'll understand right now what NASCAR's been trying to drive home. As Kenny Strader gets around right there, he gets in the wall. I don't know if just the stock track settings, I'm going to be able to recreate that. Down the wall, but comes the rest, and all of a sudden, because of how try. bad the car is damaged in the back, fuel cell erupted. Big fire, but you'll notice right, also as Kenny's you can already see, he has his in. number 49 right. Blair.com paint you know, scheme. Uh, Which I'll explain that in a second. what was going on at what? that time. He was getting ready to get out of the race car. If you watch just a second, you'll see Kenny will get himself replays. out of the car. Catch Raider, uh, Carmen got there to knock the fire down. And it's really right there, very impressive right there because of the fact that this is a very violent accident. Kenny, that was a scary looking accident. What happened? <laughs> uh, got down there and massive brake failure. None. And uh, just hit him and went. How many times has there been brake failures going into turn one at Pocono? It's getting pretty scary. All right, so that is that. Let's go into the player info. Yeah, the reason, oops, I need to tighten my wheel. Yeah, I do. I could not find Ken Schrader's number 49, 2003, Blair.com paint scheme. The closest I could find is this, the AT&T one. The one that comes with the game, this one with carrot top on the... <laughs> on the front isn't as close as this one so until I can find a Blair.com paint scheme I'm just gonna be using this one this is courtesy of the TRG 03 car set just google that and you'll be able to find it easily everything else I'm just using with stuff provided in the game like the cup car set and Pocono and let's get started by the way just uh just a heads up, my game crashed like three separate times last night while I was doing stuff, so I had to reset my settings each time. Oh. So I had to reset my settings each time, and hopefully everything's set back up to normal, but I don't know if... Hopefully it doesn't do it any more times in this stream. That would be annoying. Oops. I forgot to turn this back to... There we go. Keep it under 55. Keep it under 35. Right, so let's take a lap around Pocono, circa 2003. Ken Schrader. And as you can tell by the replay, he was like in between some other traffic, so I'll try to get near as many cars as I can each attempt. That I do during this video. Whoa, I got a tap from Ricky Rudd right there. Now we go 
going to turn two, otherwise known as the tunnel turn. It's the only actual turn name I know for this track, so don't expect me to know all the nicknames of everything else at this track or others. So like I said, as much as it might seem like I know about racing, it's not as much as you'd think. I'm not, not a racing en encyclopedia. Alright, so first attempt right here. Alright, so I get loose, going into... oops. Hey! Look at that, I flipped on the first attempt. Not the way, not exactly the way I needed to, but still promising nonetheless. So like I said, not what we needed, but still promising. Limit 55. Keep it under 3500. Keep seconds. Okay, you're a bit like <laughs> the tire marks from last time. I know Ken Trader didn't go all the way down into the grass. I know that much. This wreck really reminds me of a uh, Gordon's 2006 wreck that I just reenacted, which is why it reminded me to do this one actually, so it wasn't just coincidence. All right, so I'll try not to go as. far down this time, not all the way into the grass. And I flipped over the wrong way. I need to tip with the passenger side of the car, like going into the ground first. Oops. Jeez. That was actually looking pretty close until I got destroyed by Jeff Green there. What a hit. <laughs> what a camera shot right there. Two wrecks in, that's the hardest wreck of the stream so far. <laughs> That wasn't looking too bad either. Yeah, but I started tumbling. I was actually riding on the wall there for a little bit. I think I was facing the wrong way. What keeps happening though, I'm sliding up, then my back end's hitting first, I'm coming around and then hitting my front end, and that's turning. I'm I'm barrel rolling after hitting the wall and riding it just the wrong way. He backed it in and then it kinda tipped over and dug in from the impact. He didn't climb up on the wall and then t tip over like I'm doing. But still, sometimes with the limitations of this game, I'm going to have to make adjustments, work around things. And I'm not going to stop trying to flip the right way. I need to back it in really hard enough to kind of tip, tip the car over. And then after the first flip, I land and slide on the wall. I think I'm doing too much talking and less, not enough reenacting. Hello, Ricky Craven. Come time of the next Darlington race, I gotta reenact yours and Kurt Busch's 2003 finish. Alright, so, I was on the turn one. Loses his brakes. Oops. That was closer to Gordon's 06 wreck than anything. Except there's no safer barrier in this one. So 
go back on board and try an onboard attempt. Did a few eye racing races last night, so I'm used to the cockpit view again. Spencer right on my ass. I think I need to use a setup. My car doesn't feel too well handling wise with just all the stock stuff in the setup. So now I got too much traffic. Worried about hitting Spencer or Rudd there, so I couldn't really get as loose and go down as much as I wanted to. Slide down on the track. Oops. <laughs> yes, I did that on purpose. If it wasn't obvious. Alright, I'm just gonna restart the practice session just to get the cars more spread out again and get rid of the tire marks and stuff from the previous attempts. Keep it under chat froze, under chat froze, seven. let me unfreeze it, just hit F5, and we should be all good. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Glad I discovered that much quicker way of unfreezing the chat. And I still feel stupid that I didn't realize sooner. Oh. By the way, I didn't see any comments before, but uh, just let me know if there's any issues with the quality or the playback. If it's taken excessively long to buffer for everyone. Anyone that's watching on a phone with a crappy connection doesn't count. I'm talking people are watching like on a computer with an Ethernet connection and still having trouble buffering. Let me know because, like I said, I'm experimenting with some new setting changes. Trying to get a little bit higher quality, I just want to make sure everything's still coming through fine. Spun around too much that time. I need to just back it really hard into the, into the wall. With the back end, obviously. Hence the term backing in. Why didn't I save those first few attempts? At least for a thumbnail for part two if I can't get any better for the entire rest of the stream. That's why I didn't save those because I thought those first two I was just going to keep getting attempts like that on command. Jeff Gordon's 06 wreck in the same spot. Damn it, those first few attempts were really close. Now I can't replicate that. Oh. I just got hit by Biffle there. Biffle's got the stripe. He was a rookie back in 03.
need fourth gear, apparently, in this entire track. Next lap, I tried to spin out there and I couldn't even spin out on purpose. If you can't spin yourself out on purpose, does that mean you're really good of a driver or really bad? You just subconsciously have that good of car control where you can't force yourself to spin out on purpose or you just suck so much you can't even spin out on purpose. <laughs> That's like an, a racing idiom right there. If you can't spit out on purpose, are you a good driver or do you suck? No! No! Uh oh. I saw that coming the second I started spinning. I saw that pit roll. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that perfect of a shot though. R.I.P. Rip. That's what almost could have happened with Clint Boyer's wreck at Indy a couple weeks ago. The second I started spinning, I knew that was coming. Damn. <laughs> Limit 55. Keep it under 3500. Okay. I'm just going to try that again. Pretend that didn't happen. Either need to get a setup for this track or to turn the AI cars down a little bit because they're like way too quick. They're way quicker than I am. I got Scott Wimmer. Swimmer. Right on my hind quarters. I'll let him go past. Oh. Whoops. Never mind. God damn it. I honestly didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Two failed attempts in a row. That time I probably just gave Wimmer a concussion. That was a hard hit. I was just trying to take the turn, and I just came down a little too much and accidentally clipped him. I probably could have avoided that, but it's AI cars. I wasn't going to back off. If that was iRacing, obviously, that wouldn't have happened. Alright, we're not going to fail this time. Set up or turn the AI difficulty down a little bit. It's starting to cause issues how much quicker they are than I am. No, I got traffic around me. I don't want. I want cars around me, but not this many. That was a, the right idea for the kind of hit I needed, but I didn't... I started to climb the wall, but didn't go all the way over. Didn't go all the way over. Next. Limit 55. Keep it under 3500. Okay. Neat. the tire marks from the previous attempts. Yeah, why didn't I save those first two? I 
was a lot closer than I thought I was going to get. Stay off the wall. I took that turn way too high. Actually caught up to the AI cars in front of me though on that lap. Oh, guess I'm doing that next lap. Oh, almost kept it off the wall. That was a good save right there. It's not what I wanted though. I want it to wreck. I have a feeling Terry Labani is going to have something to do with my demise. Alright, good. You got through cleanly. save that one. What? I can't remember where he lands. I was trying to remember where yeah, he stopped once, that motor, buddy. once his car came to a halt. Yeah, it's the closest one I've gotten yet, basically. I'm just gonna take a look, quick look at the replay. Alright, cool, he did go into the grass. He just landed backwards, though. So I'll save that. And that. Once again, far from perfect, but one of the better ones yet, so it's still worth saving. And let's take one more look at the replay. I wish I could have and once again, since I'm flipping the wrong way, I'm kind of landing backwards, but I mean, with the limitations of this game, I don't know if I'm gonna... I'm sure if I tried enough times I could get, but backing in, hitting so hard it kind of tips the car over that way instead of back, front, and then the front hitting kind of makes it climb the, climb the wall. You guys know what I mean? Actually, that's right, I'm gonna... If I end up having this be a usable attempt, I'm just letting... This go on for a while. The part after the wreck. Just so I have some footage to use afterwards. Do, 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 do. Alright. Schrader. 2003. Flip. Attempt. One. Alright, that's saved. Not gonna lose that. Limit 55. Keep it under 3500 in second. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Hit the wall backwards first. I'm trying. I'm trying, trust me. Since I'm not racing, I guess I'm just turning the roll cage part of the mirror off. The car body turning that off in the mirror. Turn. Lord Burton. Thought you were Scott Wimmer at first. You have the paint scheme Scott Wimmer flips in. Chat throws alright after this attempt on freeze it. Thank you for letting me know. Just 
See now right there. That was basically a perfect hit that Ken Schrader had. But in order to get Ken Schrader's rug right here, when it goes up in the air, the passenger side kind of needs to dig in and roll over and while he's tumbling end up getting hooked on the wall and sliding on his side. And the attempts I've had in the past that have kind of worked is where my back end hits first really hard, kind of gets the car up in the air a little bit, and then the front end of the car swinging around from the impact. When the front end hits the wall, it kind of makes the car climb up the wall, and that's, that's the luck I've been having with any attempt where I've been able to flip over. And it looks similar, but it's technically not how Schrader flipped. If I would have, just like I said, if I was started to dig in right here, still facing the inside of the track, that would have been good, but I don't know, unless I start tweaking the hell out of the track INI settings, I don't know if I'm going to ever get that to naturally happen unless I come flying in at like 300 miles an hour. Chat, chat. Thank you. Do, 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 do. F5. by these cars behind me. It looks... It should be good. Oops. No, that was another Gordon. I don't know if Ken Schrader would have been as lucky as Gordon would have been taking a hit like that with no safer barrier. Next. Limit 55. Keep it under testing I was doing, I suppose I could save a little time with each attempt being a happy hour, starting in the back of the pits and just reversing out and then going on the front stretch that way, but it's a little too tedious and I still have better momentum built up if I do it this way. or something. Once again, that was another one where the hit itself was basically perfect, but I wasn't able to actually dig in and start flipping into the track. Alright, I think actually right now is when I'm going to exit out quickly. Go into the track folder. That's right. Oh yeah, Pocono. I forgot for a half second what track we were at. Pocono. Alright, track wall grip. Oh yeah, that's right, I've already tweaked it. Alright, let's turn it up to 15. Turn this up just a tad bit more. Alright. 
Loading the game back up now. Ugh. Ugh. Stayed up way too late last night. Way too late. Oh, I actually don't mind cloudy because I think it was actually cloudy ish in real life, at least overcast. Alright, so I tweaked. I'm not tweaking or uh, turning the actual track grip up anymore because I still need to be able to spin. If you have the track grip up too much, you just won't be able to spin. Unless you go into the grass. And I don't want to make it look too cheesy. Maybe yeah, I'll keep trying to like the wall grip and stuff like that. I was wondering why I wasn't spinning out nearly as much as I usually do at Pocono, so I remembered last night during my preliminary tests for this stream, I turned the grip up just ever so slightly from 1 even to 1.2. Another Jeff Gordon. Just another Jeff Gordon. Keep it under 55. Keep it under 35. Okay, you're clear. Chat seriously frozen again. Alright, I'll unfreeze it after this attempt. Why is it doing that so frequently? Recently. See, that's what happens if you turn the grip up too much. When you try to spin out, you can't. Alright. Well. Actually, I don't think the chat froze. I think I just forgot to... Click back on it. Did it freeze? Oh, well. I'm just refreshing it anyway. Jeremy Mayfield. There's a name. I wonder what he's up to these days. Hopefully sober. Seemed like the wall grip did anything there. Oh, I was trying to hit that bigger pack of cars. I wanted a big pile up. See, we have a few fantasy cars in this car set. Whoa. Yeah, 
I saw before a suggestion to do Todd Bodine. I forgot who else was involved in that. Todd Bodine and who else? Michigan 2003. That really hard wreck. I'll put that on my to-do list. And just a heads up, everyone. It's much easier for me to see your suggestions if you do it in the comments. And then I'll... If you do it that way, then I can also screen capture and get a picture of the suggestion to use for the intro of future videos like you saw. Come on. Just another Gordon. Kind of. Uh, this is getting frustrating. And it sucks because I don't think that one I got was good enough to edit. Limit 55. Keep it under 35. Oh yeah, Kenny Walls. Tap, no big deal. Side battle with Kurt. Oh, damn it. As you saw I tried to spin out that time, but couldn't. Oh, sorry, Nadu. me off. What the hell just happened to my car? You see that? I just got damage glitch all of a sudden. I'm a magician. Why can't I spin out? See? Kids, this is what happens when you turn the grip up too much. Alright, this attempt is doomed. Actually, I'm gonna just show you what I was talking about earlier when I can kind of shortcut the attempt. I'll just do this. Not gonna be going as fast. But each attempt won't take nearly as long. See how fast I can get going. If I can still be going like 160, this can be feasible actually. 160. Another Jeff Gordon. It's not what I need. Right, I'm going to try this one more time. If not, I'm just going back to... Going back to practice and just doing the full lap again. did get really bright, didn't it, with the sun out in the game. Alright, I'm 
just going back to practice mode. I feel like my decreased speed is hurting my attempts trying it that way. Keep it under 55. Keep it under 3500. Uh, how many times has the chat got to freeze? God damn it. Truex for getting the win yesterday. That was an exciting finish. I was really hoping Kenseth was gonna be able to close in on that last lap. When I saw Truex lock up the brakes in that second to last corner, I thought Kenseth might have had it, but he's able to recover. Go on and get the W. Still a nice strong finish for Kenseth. Just wish he would have been able to pass Truex there. Truex already has enough wins. He's in the chase. I want to see Kenseth get a win. Rooting for my was ah, fellow Wisconsinites. How many times does that fucking happen? I tried turning the grip up just ever so slightly so I can have it be a little easier for my car to dig in and flip once I hit the wall and get sideways, except I didn't think to realize turning the grip up is going to hurt my chances of being able to spin in the first place. Well, I did think of that. I just didn't think it was going to be affected that much by turning the grip up so little. Same exact thing. Almost kept it off the wall there, too. Ugh. Sorry to lose focus. I'm Elliot Sadler. Boom. Confetti. That was actually pretty close to what I imagined his wreck looked looking like. Even though they don't have any accurate version of Pocono. Can anyone find me an accurate version of Pocono that has like all the detailed stuff on the infield on the first straightaway? Aside from just this guardrail way in the infield. That wasn't very accurate to how Pocono was for a while. But yeah, this is what I kind of imagine Elliot Sadler's wreck having looked like. I have not played Dirt 4. I've played all the other Dirt, so except for Dirt Rally. I loved the first one, the second one, and third one. I just haven't had a chance to play anything more recent than Dirt 3, unfortunately. Damn it. That was completely accidental for the record. Did the chat freeze? God damn it. I'll try refreshing it again. No, it didn't freeze. People are trolling me. Yeah, I glanced away to look at the chat for a second. I got loose right there, hit that grass, and then came back across the track after overcorrecting. Completely accidental. Keep it under 55. Keep it under 35. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. I actually have Dirt 3 on my computer. And it does work with this wheel. Maybe I should try some videos with that every once in a while. 
My focus will always be NR2003, but every now and then I'll try playing some miscellaneous racing games or just other games in general. Not make it a frequent thing to take over these NR2003 streams, but still be fun to play some other games once in a while on this channel. I mean, I do I racing. Goodness! It's like the fourth time that's happened in a row. I'm gonna have to turn the grip back down. Hello, Goward. Fantasy paint scheme. I always take this turn too high. Hedleski, is that another fantasy paint scheme? Dirt 3 has nothing on Dirt Rally. Well, that's unfortunate because I haven't played Dirt Rally yet. Alright, new idea. Not turning the grip down, but I'll just downshift to spin myself out in the right spot since just trying to swerve isn't working. Yeah, that's kind of how I've always been though, like my entire gaming life. I'm always like a f at least a few years behind the loop. Like I love the Madden games. But the newest Madden I own is Madden uh, 25. Still need to get 16 and 17, and now 18 is coming out soon. Then again, I don't want to spend $60 on a game, when if you can wait a year or two, it'll be like $10 in the used bracket GameStop. If that. Ouch. Now that one, I think, looked closest to a... Uh, Gordon's wreck, actually. That was, like, the hardest. That was, like, Gordon mixed with Petty in Bristol 2003. So, yeah, I usually don't buy brand new games. I'm usually behind the loop. I've even wanted to get the shittier, like, Activision or whatever, Utechnics, the NASCAR games, like the Inside Line and what, but those are still like $20 used at GameStop, so screw that. I mean, I'd like to get those games just to have them, but let's face it, I'm not going to spend that much just for a game I'm probably rarely going to play. And I do download games every now and then on my computer in non-legal fashions, but... The only time I ever illegally download a game on my computer, a console game, is one I already have. Like, in person, a physical copy, just for the sake of convenience recording. See, I have a few downloaded games on my computer, but the only ones that are, are ones that I've, I, that I otherwise have physical copies of as well. Music, I'll download music till the cows come home. Those artists don't make any money from selling physical copies of CDs. They make all their money from touring. However, I always will buy physical copies of games and will rarely ever download them. I always believe in buying games. And there's the whole debate on whether people should buy a used copy of NR2003 or just download it illegally since it's considered abandoned wear, so I guess no money's going back to the original creators anyway, which is true, but if you do buy it illegally, like a used copy on eBay, 
you're still supporting and giving money back to the people that have that physical copy at the time that initially bought the game to support the creators. Get what I mean? Sorry, I'm just rambling. Back to crashing. Shut up, Cody. No one cares. <laughs> Alright, now every time I try spinning out that way, it's too much. Darn it. Keep it under 55. Keep it under 35. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Ellie, no. I'll cuddle in 10 minutes. I'm busy right now. Don't do it. Yeah, like NR2003, for example, I have my physical copy in the original box, original jewel case, manual, everything, the works, but I still downloaded a copy for convenience, so I can put as least amount of wear and tear on my disc as possible, even, so I downloaded it illegally, even though I still have the physical copy, just for convenience and for the sake of not ruining my physical copy. Sorry, cats, no. I can't see this, but I have a cat just staring at my lap, just waiting to pounce and get right in the way. Nope. That one I saved is still, as of right now, the closest one yet. Yeah, maybe now you can see it. Look. Look at it, and it's evilness. Oops. Alright guys, unfortunately, since we're ending the... We're nearing the top of the hour, this will probably be my... Third to last attempt. And yes, I will be doing a big one. This is a big one. in the right direction. Let's see if I can land on my side. Oh, nope. Trick shot. <laughs> so I got up on the side, just didn't roll over. Unfortunately, that one was no good, so we'll try two more times. Can you see this? Still? I can't tell by my tiny little face cam camera up in the corner if you can see past the desk enough. Oh, now she's walking away. Yeah, my cat has just literally been sitting there staring at me for like the last five minutes. Just motionless. It's starting to creep me out a little bit, but she finally walked away. Too wide. This isn't the situation I wanted to be in for one of these last attempts. Oh. 
Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. And there goes my engine. Alright, that was a crappy second last attempt. Last attempt before I cause the big one and get going. I'm just actually waiting it's a little bit because I want to be near these cars that are coming up behind me. I don't want to be all by myself because then if I get a good replay that'll look stupid because I know Trader was around a decent amount of cars in front of and behind him. Too much traffic can be in, like, in the middle of a three-wide situation. Alright, so that, kids, is what happens when you turn the chassis grip up. That's what happens when you touch tires the right way with the AI cars. I was turning the chassis grip up, too. Thing that that would help my chances. I did that last night. But it took till right here the first time you saw the results of the track grip being turned up. A rollover of one of the fictional fantasy drivers. Goward. Alright, try that once more. went into the I and I file before and you saw where it said track ah, track chassis grip turned up to five. That is what that does. I thought he was gonna get stuck in the catch fence when I saw that one at first. That number one Penzoil Chevy doesn't have a very good history at Pocono, does it? Or the number one car, I should say. I don't know if Steve Park's paint scheme was Pennzoil. Him and Jeff Green. And I believe back-to-back -back years having that hard rock on the back stretch. Uh, darn it. Alrighty, guys. As is customary, I'll show you the replay that we saved. Just review that one more time. And uh, the chat apparently froze, so I'm going to just hit F5 just in case it did. I don't think it did, though. Waiting for the replay to load for the replay studio. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. All right, down to Pocono. Schrader flip attempt one. Alright, so, poll. I will post two comments shortly after this video is done being processed. I will post two comments down in the description. The description. Two comments in the comments. One asking if you would like to see me do a part two to Can I Recreate Ken Schrader's 2003 Pocono Flip or... And then I'll post another comment asking if you would like to see me edit this attempt. It's up to you guys. So like I said, I'll have a poll down in the comments. I'll post one comment asking if you want a part two, and then I'll post another comment uh, asking if you would like to see me edit that one. Then what you guys do, you hit thumbs up to vote, and whichever one gets the most thumbs up after a few days, I'll make a decision then. So I'll hopefully remember to do that, and make sure you don't forget to vote. All right, one last, one last run to get a big crash. And also let me know in the comments as well if you guys had any issues watching this live or if it came back, if it played back pretty much fine. Just like I said, I my monitor resolution is technically at like 1360 by 768, 
So it's right around 7.20. I usually have my stream set at 7.20. But I turned the bitrate and the buffer size up in OBS so I could have the encoding settings, in, or the ingestion settings in YouTube to allow it to uh, get up to 1080, even though it's not technically what my resolution is set at. So I'm getting a bunch of, like, warning messages saying it's not the optimal resolution, but it still looks fine. Just because it's not a set at the exact resolution that my monitor is. So just let me know if you're having any issues or if I should just ignore those notifications that keep popping up and keep using the settings right now. Let me know if it looks a little better quality-wise. Trying to get a little less grain and pixelation in the high motion scenes. That can happen sometimes. A lot of it, a huge amount of that went away when I hooked up via Ethernet versus my uh, wireless connection. Just in my desktop tower I used to be hooked up to the internet through. But now that I'm actually hardwired into the internet, that's much better for streaming. I'm still trying to still trying to get it a little bit better each time though. I'm gonna improve on something each stream. Trying to get them right past the pit road wall, because I have nowhere to escape to. That was pretty good. And we have a rare car landing on its side. It's not being propped up by anything. I almost missed everyone at first, but... I was able to salvage it. Still want to do that one more time. I missed a few too many people. Drivers, start your engines. Missed a few too many cars. I want to get closer to taking out the whole field. Yeah, by the way, I do already have it uh, scheduled. Tomorrow, around this time, I will be doing... Can I recreate the 2014 Watkins Glen big one? Where Ryan Newman spun out, coming out of the carousel. Got into the tire barrier, bounced back in the track, clipped McDowell, and then that's when McDowell went flying into that one wall with his uh, rear axle hanging out and then got up onto his side after clobbering the wall. That wreck. I will be attempting tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time CST. This is reckless. Just you wait. Oh, that's right. Direction. Direction pad shifting, not paddle shifters. I think that one turned out better than I thought it was going to, too. I thought I was going to miss everyone. But no, it looked like I got a good pile up there. The leader's pitting now. You I see, all right? see a few cars spinning around upside down. Alright, let's get a little better view. Right here, I thought I was going to miss all the cars, but then... Craven saved it, being right where he was, because then he was able to hit me, and then Kenseth hit him, and then that blocked up basically the rest of the track. There was Craven's... <laughs> front bumper flying off. Junior, Nadu, uh, Scott Riggs, who else is all upside down? Alright, that was a big wreck. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit subscribe and the like button if you enjoyed it. Also be sure to check out my social media links down in the description. And that's about it. Once again, I'm streaming tomorrow at the same time. Check out that stream. Until then, hope you guys all have a good rest of your day. Peace.